Many Americans may not be aware of the fact that Germany is also made of states, and in fact, has 16 of them. Of those 16 states, we want to show you what makes ours the best. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie. And I'm Aubrey. And we are two Americans currently living in Germany and sharing all of our experiences living and traveling throughout Europe. As you all may know, we love to travel and our German home state of rheinland pfalz is definitely one of the most amazing to explore of the 16 Bundesländer. Recently, we were reached out to by the rheinland pfalz state program, Welcome to rheinland pfalz and asked if we wanted to do a project with them and show off our favorite spots in our beloved state. Honestly, it wasn't a hard decision to decide to do that with them because we love to talk about where we live. What was difficult was narrowing down what our favorite places are in Rhineland Falls because of how many beautiful places there are. But this is something we have only learned after living here for nearly two years. Like most Americans, we didn't even know the state existed before we moved here. So how do we end up here? What are we doing here? Why are we so glad that we are here? And what are the five best places to visit here? Well, that is exactly what we're gonna talk about today in our video. The Palatinate that makes our heart palpitate. Five things grand in our Bundesland. For many people moving to Germany, the process rarely starts with, what German state should I move to? I would say for most of us moving here, we look at Germany as a whole or as individual cities and areas without even realizing there are states in the first place. Aubrey and I got married in 2015 and shared the same dream of living in a foreign country and experiencing a different culture's daily life. We quit our job, sold most of what we had and backpacked around the world for almost a year. As that year was wrapping up, I started searching for a job abroad and almost immediately found a job in Germany. And two months later, in August of 2019, we officially moved to Germany and landed in our new home of Rhineland Falls. It wasn't until after moving here that we realized there are about 50,000 other Americans living in our area that are sent here by the US government, by the US military, by companies that contract for the US government, and because we didn't get a job with the American government at all, that we would be two of the very rare and unique Americans living in our area that technically are not part of that community. Because of the massive amount of Americans constantly being sent in and out of our area, we thought we would give our top five favorite travel spots in Rhineland Falls to get people out exploring this amazing country and culture. But first, if you would like to support us making these videos, honestly, simply hitting that like and subscribe button goes a really, really long way for us. Please remember to do that. And also, if you would like to support us in other ways, we have our Patreon linked in the description. But now let's jump right into our list. So this list isn't in any particular order because honestly, picking one as our number one favorite and ranking them would be like ranking your kids. Maybe some of you do that, but we love all these places too much to do that. So with that in mind, one of our absolute favorite places to go to is the city of Trier. Forget about taking that trip to Rome. One thing that many people don't necessarily expect when they think of Germany is one thing that makes Trier so famous and that is spectacular. Roman ruins. In this area, you will find the most Roman ruins north of the Alps with sites like the largest Roman city gate north of the Alps called Porta Nigra, multiple Roman baths, Emperor Constantine's throne hall, and even a Roman amphitheater that hosted gladiator fights. There is a lot of debate about what is the oldest city in Germany, but on many lists, Trier is the title holder. Trier also has the quintessential German charm that you are looking for in a German city with its beautiful architecture, spectacular spectacular cathedral that claims to contain the robe Jesus wore before being crucified. This city is also surrounded by beautiful nature, including the Mosul River that Trier sits on. We have ridden our bikes up and down the river on the well-kept bike paths, and it makes for a really nice afternoon ride. Trier contains a lot more to see as it is also the birth city of Karl Marx. There are many other museums and stunning churches and a Christmas market that blows you away. 
One thing that people first think of when they think of Germany is, of course, beer. But what sometimes can go overlooked is German wine. Germany is within the top 10 largest producers of wine in the world, and 60% of the wine produced in Germany comes from Rhineland Falls. Because beer and sausages tend to be the stereotypical images of Germany, we were shocked when we moved here and drove through miles and miles of vineyards on our way from the airport to our new home. As we drove through these vineyards, we didn't realize that we actually passed right by what has now become one of our favorite parts of Rhineland Falls, and that is the Weinstrasse. The Weinstrasse is a route starting on the French border in Schweigen-Rechtenbach and is marked by a massive stone gate appropriately named the German Wine Gate. This route winds through Germany's best wine region and is flanked by vineyards for 85 kilometers to Bockenheim an der Weinstrasse. Not only is it a beautiful drive through the vineyards, but it also connects lots of cities and villages that are filled with wineries that you can stop into for tastings and to buy local wine. From March to October, you will also also find numerous wine festivals taking place in the villages and towns along the Weinstrasse, but the most famous of all is the Wurstmarkt in Bad Dürkheim. In September, the world's largest wine festival takes place in front of the world's largest wine barrel with its confusing name Wurstmarkt, which actually means sausage market. But don't be confused because it definitely is a wine festival. Who could possibly imagine a trip to Germany without visiting a fairy tale castle? Lucky for Rhineland Falls, castles are one thing that are definitely not in short supply. You can find castles in varying degrees of ruin throughout the countryside, but two castles that are in fantastic condition and are some of the most magical in the world are Berg Elts and the Reichsberg Kochum. Reichsberg Kochum sits atop a hill in the city of Kochum, right on the Mosul River. Kochum is a small town that lies beneath the impressive and imposing castle with only around 5,000 residents. There is nothing quite like sitting at a cafe enjoying a coffee and cake with this massive fortress as your view. This castle is thought to have originally been built around 1,000, but was nearly completely destroyed in the 1600s and laid in ruin until 1868 when what you see today was built. So although what you are seeing is mostly not medieval, it is still beautiful nonetheless. If you hike up to the top to tour the castle, which is surrounded by beautiful vineyards, you will be rewarded with amazing views of the town and river below. Berg Elts is particularly unique in that it has never been destroyed and a branch of the same family that has lived in it since the 12th century still owns the castle. There are two ways to get to Berg Elts from the parking lot. One way is by shuttle or the second way that we recommend is to hike through the woods. It isn't a difficult hike and it is 100% worth it. As you make your way through the woods, you suddenly come upon this medieval fairy tale castle sitting beneath the surrounding hills and it simply takes your breath away. This is a very popular site to visit, so you do have to arrive early to beat the scores of people that show up unless you want to stand in an incredibly long line, but this is one of the cannot miss sites in Germany. Besides those two spectacular castles, if you want to fill your day in what I jokingly call a castle neighborhood, then you need to check out one of our other favorite places in Rhineland Falls, and that is the Upper Middle Rhine region. The Upper Middle Rhine Valley is the portion of the Rhine River that flows from Bingen to Koblenz. Besides being known as the Upper Middle Rhine Valley, it is also known as the Romantic Rhine Valley because it boasts the highest concentration of castles than any other place in the world. Impressive cliffs and views, picture villages and cities, and plenty of inspiration for artists and writers through the centuries. Along the left side of the river runs the B9, one of our favorite drives in all of Germany. It closely winds alongside the river and in the shadows of dozens of castles. Besides driving, you can also bike or walk on the perfectly maintained paths along the length of the river or float down river by boat. We semi-jokingly call it a castle neighborhood because you can literally go from one castle to the next, to the next, and to the next on these journeys. You can often see one one from the other, and you could spend days visiting them all. You also can stop in the beautiful cities and villages along the way for coffee and cake to explore or to hike to the top of the hills and mountains for epic views of the river valley. One of our absolute favorite towns to go to and check out is definitely one off the beaten path for the normal international tourists who come to Germany to see the major sites. This city is a little more popular with local tourists and we only know about it because it was recommended by a couple of you for us to check out. Now because of that, we are a little nervous to talk about how awesome it is because we enjoy it feeling like a little secret spot, but 
It's just too good not to tell. It's a town known as the Pearl of the Glan Valley, Meisenheim. Meisenheim has almost 3,000 residents and has kept the incredible medieval charm to the small city. We love going here to slowly walk around the old town, look at the beautiful buildings and old city wall, and to just relax. Along the side of Meisenheim flows the Glan River, and it is surrounded by beautiful nature perfect for hiking and biking. No matter what narrow street or alley you find in this perfectly quaint town, you will not be disappointed as you discover every cute nook and cranny. Sometimes small towns like these may not have a lot to offer, but here you will find multiple great cafes, beer gardens, restaurants serving this region's specialties, and some that are even Michelin listed. Truly, this is a town that we cannot recommend enough that we don't want to recommend as we want to keep it as a local secret, but now I think the cat's out of the bag. Besides these five things to see in Rhineland Falls, you will find so many other amazing places and things to see. From hiking in our incredible forests and mountains to driving along rivers and in historic cities, there is never a reason to be bored in Rhineland Falls. But even if for some reason you want to go beyond the borders of this state and explore a little more, you can't beat the location as we are so close to other amazing places around us like the Black Forest, cities like Cologne, Frankfurt, or Heidelberg. And you can even take a short drive to France, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Netherlands, Belgium, or Switzerland. Let us know in the comments other places in Rhineland Falls that you love to visit, especially those little secret gems that most people may not know about. If you are from another part of Germany, let us know what makes your state so great in the comments as well. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you in our next video. Cheers! Five things grand about our Bundesland. Kid. I gotta redo that. For I kinda messed it up and backpacked around the world for almost a year. Did that make sense to you what I said? So, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Miles and miles of vineyards on our way from the airport to our new home. We're kilometers and kilometers. Kilometers and kilometers. 